This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, sometimes when changing polygroup visibility, it only hides a loop. Why is this? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a sphere 3D object here loaded in. And I've just gone through and established two different polygroups on this sphere. So it just has a division of polygroups right down the middle. So the question is asking about polygroup visibility. So when you're working in ZBrush, if you hold down Control and Shift, this will give you a select rectangle brush. Now with this brush selected, if you come across an area of your model that has a different polygroup, you can click it once to isolate that polygroup, and then you can click it again to hide that polygroup. So this functionality of showing and hiding polygroups will allow you to isolate different parts of your model so you can sculpt on them individually, and then you can bring back the whole model as needed. So the question is asking about changing the visibility with this polygroup functionality. And sometimes when you come across the surface of your mesh and you click to isolate a polygroup, it may only isolate a single edge loop. So why is this happening? So the main reason this is happening is because instead of using select rectangle as your control shift brush, you're using select lasso. So if I hold down control and shift and then come up here and click on the brush area here, this is gonna open up a quick pick, and in here you can see I have the select rectangle brush selected, and then directly next to it there is a select lasso brush. So I'm just gonna click select lasso, and now the select lasso brush is my control shift brush. So if I hold down control and shift, and then dragging, I'm gonna get this lasso effect. This is gonna allow me to come through and just establish a lassoed area on my model, and whatever is inside that lassoed area, when I release my pen or my mouse, it's just going to show that part of the model. Now you can also do the inverse of this. So if you drag out the lasso first and then hold down the Alt key, it will now turn the lasso red, and now we'll just hide the parts that fall inside that lasso. So using the lasso feature here, you can come through and start hiding or showing different parts of your model very quickly. Now, one added feature of the Select Lasso Brush is the ability to hide or show edge loops. So if I have the Select Lasso Brush selected and I come across a edge on my model and now click, it's now only going to hide or show an edge loop. So you can see I can come across these different edges on my model and as long as I'm directly over an edge and I click and there is an edge loop, I can now hide or show those different parts of the mesh. Now, if you come across a poly on your mesh and click on it with the select lasso brush, it's going to hide and show just like it did normally with the select rectangle brush. But if you select an edge, it's going to hide or show an edge loop. So if your mesh is really dense, you may have trouble just selecting a single poly to click on to hide or show the poly group. And you may be coming in and just selecting an edge, which is then just hiding that loop. Now, once again, this hiding and showing of edge loops is only going to happen with the select lasso brush. So if I come back here and change back to select rectangle brush, and now even if I hover over an edge and click with the select rectangle brush, it's going to hide or show that entire polygroup. So if you're using control and shift to hide from polygroups on your model, and you notice that only an edge loop is disappearing, make sure you have the select rectangle brush selected instead of the select lasso brush. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.